Good evening. Good evening. It's a kind of very happy moment for all of us this, uh, this evening. We started yesterday. A very important uh, concept being, being launched yesterday and then today we have a full day of presentation. Uh, as is a concept, it's a very important concept, and uh, I want to, this evening, uh, thank the Marape Russell government for this initiative, but more so, let me express my sincerest thank you to the minister responsible for making it happen, the Honorable Richard Maru and his staff this evening. Well, I can see that it's a very successful occasion commencing yesterday. I want to also express my sincerest thank you to all the participants, both within the country as well as those who came from outside to share your experiences in your own country, insofar as as is that concern is concerned. Uh, this evening it's a one and privilege for me, especially uh, having to sign uh, for national bodies or contractors to work closely with us to realize the uh, EU Special Economic Job. Let me also acknowledge and thank uh, Serena Kangama this evening for a presentation that she has made, summarizing the, the journey that the EU Special Economic Job has taken six years ago, 2017-2018. Minister Maru, as well as Prime Minister, have uh, kind of captured the history of the concepts beginning with uh, free trade zone concept and other concepts that have been been tried out by our governments, various governments in the past, and we have had little success. As is that concept is one of those, I guess, sleeping uh, concept that can. Uh, change the way we do business in Papua New Guinea. And we already had all the experiences that have been expressed. I took this journey six years ago when I came in after spending some time in the government for some time and coming in the first time MP and all the generation of MP. I was confronted with the issue, what can I leave behind? Having had opportunity of my people being staying where they have been staying over millennia. Have we gone wrong in terms of bringing services right down to our people? Right now, I'm Minister for Provincial and Local Level Governments. Have we succeeded? Yes. Systems are good. It's humans that either make it happen or not make it happen. And all of the New Guinea, we, we still see our people still struggling. So we need to find a different pathway as to whether to serve, uh, service delivery or economic growth. So that's why as you said, concept is a very important concept. And Again, I want to thank each and every one of you for being part of this very important journey that we are taking together. Again, let me express my sincerest thank you to the government, particularly ably, ably, sorry, ably represented by Minister Maru. Minister Maru, Maru is a very dynamic, no-nonsense minister, and I know as is in the right hands. 
to lead us and guide us. But let me go back a bit and also make reference to why I did this. As I said, I needed to bring services right down to my people. Someone for what in the time and space, modernity came and went past my people, and it's happening all over Papua New Guinea. So I had to find some mechanism in which I can bring services to my people. So I saw SZ as a vehicle for development. But also, when I looked behind, I saw a resource-rich country as Papua New Guinea. But more so, Kikori District has all the resources, including 80% of the discovered oil and gas found in the country. So my, my challenge was, how am I going to stand and watch? Or do I come up with something where I can maximize and optimize the opportunity for my people? Hence, it was special economic job. Special economic job can work in this country. There are lots of factors which our professors have presented today. Our learned professor from Japan, China, India, Bangladesh have already presented very dynamic options. But I think one, one thing I want to leave behind is that there has to be political will and support on the ground level for it to work. Yes, we need to have political support from the top, but we also need to have political down level at the bottom. So that where the open members and governors are concerned, uh, lots of governors have expressed this interest. Uh, I presented this concept in 2018 governors conference in Medellin. At that time, nobody realized the importance of this concept. But I realized the importance of this concept. But I'm not going to bore you with uh, uh, any more of my, my nonsense. I thank I thanks Serena for presenting everything that I have to present. But this evening, I want to thank uh, Minister Maru and the support he has been giving me, the discussion that he has been having with me. And one issue that we stand united for some time and tonight is to call upon our own government to develop oil and gas uh, product in the Gulf province. EU Special Economic Zone is established primarily for this purpose. Because I saw 80% of oil and gas in the Kikori district. I saw Papua LNG coming on. So, I just want to stand on the side and watch. Not for me. I want to ensure that my people benefit from the very beginning on all facets of this development. We have stood on the side for too long. I thank the government for many lots of legislations. That makes Papua New Guineans can sit on the same table and decide the benefits, benefit share. So basically that's what it is. So I want to again mention that EU Space or Economic Zone is established so that we can maximize oil and gas opportunities we have. We want oil and gas to be developed and processed and downstream processed in EU special economic job. That's basically the point. So we can talk about creation of job for our people. Technology transfer, skills, startups, SMEs, all those things we are talking about. So that is a final and last comment I want to make. But before I sit down, let me once again thank you so much for this evening and the opportunity to have to sign this important agreements. Those of you who have signed this agreement, thank you so much for taking this journey with us. We don't want to only develop new space economy job, but we want to be concerned with the social welfare of our people so we can get our people ready before development forum takes place before the resource benefits are decided so that our people know their options. They are, uh, they are ready 
so they don't spend their money staying in hospital, but go home and invest in, into project wisely so they can benefit in the long term. So once again, thank you so much. Good night all.